All right, and time to try the DLC for Cooking Simulator pizza. So let's see whether we are much good as a pizza chef, which of course, at least according to some, should be easy as apparently quite a few move somewhere and then become pizza chefs automatically. So pizza indeed, Kisu. And you have been bouncing around this one's nice kanki channel. You bouncy panther, you. Hello and welcome to the stream, Kisu. So let's start. We just started a new game at the pizza and we were ordered a margarita. So. Indeed, <laughs> bouncing around with your panther paws. Yes, let's start out. Hello and welcome to Papa Pepe's Pizzeria. PPP, it seems. I see great promise in you, so much so that I'd like to share some of my secrets. And if you prove yourself, I may even let you run this pizzeria. Your training begins now. All right. I'm sure you already know this, but let's cover some of the basics first. I'll show you how to assemble a pizza from already prepared ingredients, <laughs> bake it in the oven and finally serve it. Fair enough. First, let's begin with the base of our pizza. There can't be pizza without it. To make a base, you'll have to roll out the pizza dough. Get some dough and place it on the bake board. All right. So where's... Tough. All right. Size small. Good. That's a plate. Where's the bake board? TN container. We also have a Polaroid camera. Wow. Such hipster. Where's the bake board? Right, that's the bake board. All right, at least this is automatic. We do not need to use 3D controls for that. All right, well done. Now let's start assembling this pizza. We'll start with the sauce. Press W to look at the T and container itself. Here you'll find some ingredients and some sauce I've prepared for you. In the future you will have to prepare ingredients yourself, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right. Two sauce, poor sauce. All right, then we spread sauce with the ladle. Cheese. All right, now we have to place them according to the template, so we have to rotate them to match. All right. Some nice mozzarella onto our pizza. There we go. Few basil leaves will do the trick. We'll end up with a classic margarita. Remember to spread the basil evenly on the pizza. All right, so W. Herb pot view. All right. Here's our basil. Then we have to place the basil leaves also in the correct orientations. All 
fair enough. Our pizza is ready to be put into the oven. However, the oven needs to be prepared first. To fire up the oven, place a lock inside the firebox. Alright, so now we need to exit the creation view. And pick up a lock of firewood. Alright, our oven is not very uh, hot at all currently, so let's add more wood. Alright, and still at least one piece of wood so that our oven oven is hot enough. Pretty fancy place as it's a real wood fired oven and not like an electric one. Alright, the oven is ready. Now let's shove the pizza into the oven. But uh, do not try to do it with your bare hands. We'll have to use the a pizza peel. Alright, where's the pizza peel? Here. There we go. And then we need to shove shove the pizza into the oven. Alright, then we can place it into the oven as we would like to. And there we go, the pizza is now in the oven. Wait until the pizza finishes baking. Alright, is our oven hot enough? Almost. Let's see if it bakes ready or do we need to add some wood into the oven. Hello there, Gloomy and Kamu. Skunk cook, indeed. Tonight we cook pizza. Welcome, both of you, to the stream. And we are just making the tutorial pizza, so should be an easier time, at least for a while. Great to see you both here again. Alright, let's continue. Our pizza is starting to be ready, so pick up. There we go, our pizza has baked. Now that's one beautiful margarita. Place it on a plate and serve it through the serving window. Alright, here's the plate. Alright, the size of the pizza and the size of the plate are mildly <laughs> well positioned. And let's take this to the serving counter. Bell Pizza app allows you to check how you did well and what should be improved when completing the next order. And our phone has plenty of battery too. You've proved that you can prepare proper Italian pizza. Now it's time to prepare your pizzeria for tomorrow. Let me show you how to prepare the duff, sauce and other ingredients. You don't have to rush, take your time. The preparation phase has no time limit. You decide when to finish and start a new day. Alright, let's start with preparing some Napolitan style duff 
The first step is to familiarize yourself with the Recipe. Launch the Pizza Pro app and find the Recipe we need. Whatever that instruction means, press phone to return to main screen. Ah, all right, on the phone. Right, and we have Berg Hub, we have Quest, Villa, and Pizza Pro. Right, stuff recipe. Quest Villa, all right. This has various quests for this game mode, it seems. Tuna onion pizza. Alright, let's see in a while. <laughs> uh, uh, do you think that the orders, orders come from the phone in the game, so let's see. First we need to make more duff though, so... Quest Villa is an application dedicated to elite world-class pizza yolos. Uh, here you will find some challenges and tasks that will allow you to improve your skills and gain new abilities. Alright. Completing the quests will run you fame, respect and skill certifications. Very good. For now let's focus on the matters at hand. There are a few easier quests ahead of you, through which I'll guide you. All right. Prove yourself to be a diligent apprentice, and I will grant you the title of Novice Pizzaiolo, and let you run this pizzeria by yourself. Additionally, by completing tasks from this app, you'll unlock new recipes and ingredients, so it's well worth the effort. To start preparing the duff, you'll have to uh, go to the pizzeria's back room that we already find. There you'll find necessary ingredients, tools and machines. Yes, we already found, found our way here. We found the duff mixer. Unsurprisingly, we have to add ingredients before we turn on the mixer. Flour. One pack should be enough. Yeah, there's a pack of flour. Salt, 125 grams, yeast, 10 grams. So a bit of salt to our flour, flour mix. Ten grams of yeast.
All right, it comes as a yeast cube. And then we need to add 2.4 liters of water. Do we have any container for the water? We have plates, we have a gas bottle, we have empty, empty cabinets. Alright, do we need to buy some kind of automatic cutter, electric crater, do we need to buy like jug, would that be useful? Fancy Italian looking, looking one. All right, now our chuck is filled with water, so we can pour it into the mixer. However, we can fill it up with 1.9, uh, uh, 2.4 liters of water and get 1, 1.9 out. bit lot of water but not too much there we go for safety reasons the duff mixer has to be closed before it can be turned on the cover is operated via the lever on the control panel all right so we need to close the cover next yeah same second delivery for everything and of course we have to use the Fancy looking Italian chuck, chuck and not any uh, stainless steel container, too modern. Alright, so let's close the, probably this lever, yes. Safety gates descends. Alright, now we are ready. Careful now, do not press the red button. It will clear the bowl of its stored ingredients. Use it only if you make a mistake when preparing the duff from the recipe or you've accidentally dropped something in the bowl and can't remove it otherwise. Alright, we indeed do not push the red button. Clear chamber, turn on. The buttons even look pretty much the same. Press the green button and let the machine do its thing. Mixing the duff and portioning it will take some time. You could watch it happen, but let's not waste time. Let's discuss sources. Source recipes are located in the same app as the duff recipe. Just navigate to the sources tab. Marinara sauce. San Marciano tomato. Olive oil, salt, oregano, dried basil, fresh garlic. Right. Let's pin this also.
Alright, and the pantry is in the cellar. So we pick up the basket and take 16 tomatoes. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we need some garlic. All right, here's there's some loose garlic. There we go. Now our basket, already fancy rustic looking, looking basket contains the ingredients. That went well. Clearly, as usual, everything works out really well in this game. All right. Now let's put the ingredients into the food processor. Alright, this is surprisingly automatic. We do not have to track them one by one by hand. Place the basil into the food processor. Alright, then we need 200 milliliters olive oil, 35 grams salt, and 25 grams oregano. There we go, now our sauce mix contains salt, then we need 200 milliliters olive oil. Oh, hello there, Solia. Great to see you here. Welcome to the stream. Really nice to see you joining also, also with the skunk. We are today, tonight playing, playing the we are tonight playing the uh, cooking simulator pizza DLC, so we are making rustic Italian pizza with slightly more Italian rustic rustic tools. So welcome to the stream and indeed pause up. Great to see you here. Very, very happy to have you join us tonight. So let's see, we added... Next we need to add olive oil into the food processor, so... Let's let's pour some in. There we go, now we have olive oil in, and then we need to add some oregano, 25 grams. All 
Alright, now we have all the ingredients in the food processor. Insert the tea and container into the machine, so we need to get one from one from here. There we go. Now the container is in the machine and we have ingredients in there. All right, indeed, we put an empty container there that we already did. There we go. Now the tutorial is also happy and now we push the green button and start up the food processor. Pick up the basket and go back to the pantry. Let's go, it's even nicely downstairs. So, here we go. Right, so we need black olive, sweet corn, salami, white onion and mozzarella. Alright, there we have some mozzarella in the basket. Black olive, there we go, sweet corn, white onion, pretty big onions, it's 500 grams, and salami, all right, there's a nice, bring the basket back upstairs, all right. Let's put the basket, basket here. Alright, it doesn't really agree with where we put it down. Alright, there's like a spot for the basket. And it's exactly where we stored all the items, so let's, let's move them. Amusingly, there's like a dedicated spot for the basket. Alright, that didn't quite work out. Good. The sauce should be ready. Yes. Take the tea and container. Alright, let's pull on the handrail. All right, this is the handrail from the other side, so. Pick up the salami. Indeed, true Italian pizza with the food processor, <laughs> of course. Do you think that also many of the real places use a food processor as an aid preparing the sauce? Yeah, quite often this one turn up in in your stream. You're very nice, and and like the like also the overall style of the stream. It's very very nice, nice and fun. So of course do drop drop along quite often. No mic on this kitchen. Yeah. All right. Let's let's then slice some salami. 
so pick up salami, test our bit of salami, insert salami into the automatic cutter. Now we need to insert empty, empty tea and container into the cutter. This is quite technical with the machinery. There we go. Alright, this has been sliced, so let's put it there. Pick up the mozzarella. Right, here's the... There's the chunk of mozzarella. Into the electric crater. Then we again insert, insert container. Very electric. And then we push the green button. And there we go, now the mozzarella was created. So insert that also into the container holder. Pick up one white onion. Put into the automatic cutter. Pick up the basket with the ingredients. Alright, and the onions automatically go into the machine. Then we again need empty CN container and insert it into the machine and cut up onion. Indeed, authentic Italian automatic food processing machinery. Here's the sweet corn. There we go. Now it's in the container and put that into the container shelf. Then we have the jar of olives. Alright, and there are the methods in which the ingredient can be used. Tub mixer, cooking processor, electric crater, automatic cutter and CN container. Indeed, without the need for any further processing. Black olives cut. Alright, so let's utilize the automatic cutter and put the olives into the machine. Fortunately, we do not have to clean it by hand. Alright, then put again container into the machine and Cut. And our black olives have been cut, let's put them onto the container shelf. So where is tough tray? Alright, here it is.
all right and pull the container self back that's quite handy so where's the clock here yes all right and we finish the preparation phase so we delivered the one mark read to the practice pizza and made made some negative negative income as we mostly bought a lot of ingredients yeah at least we have this far used the knife less Yeah, gloomy. Many stream this game so that they just make a huge mess, but this one tends to be kind of maybe not quite that kind of a streamer. Find it much more fun to try to play the game game well. Yeah, all is automatic, Kizu. We haven't used the knife a single time yet. Food processor, automatic cutter, crater, canned corn, but of course. <laughs> Yeah, also tried to reserve the flights, but failed the first time because the payment option like just didn't go through and it got cancelled. So we'll try again after after stream. Stream. So we have been doing about 40 minutes and now we continue probably can then start making pizzas proper. New day, new challenges. You're one step away from ra running your own pizzeria. Complete the tasks I've prepared for you today and I'll grant you a novice pizza YOLO certificate along with this pizzeria. Let's start by launching the quest villa app. Alright. As you can see, there is only one quest left to finish the introductory section. You must fulfill an order, accept a new order, prepare the pizza according to the client's expectations and serve it. That's all there is to it. Don't worry, I'll give you a few tips how to make your customer happy. Alright. Notice you're only 50 XP away from the next level. Completing this quest will result in leveling up. Hover over the basket to check out rewards that await. New ingredients, new perk. Put down the smartphone when you're done. Lesson number one. Each order is rated by your guests. You can achieve a total of five stars each for one of the following categories. Pizza base, sauce, cheese, ingredients and time. Each star can be bronze, silver or gold quality, depending on how well you've prepared the pizza in the given aspect. However, if you mess up badly, you might not get a star at all. Lesson number two. The timer starts the moment you accept the order. If you manage to complete within 30 minutes, you'll earn a bronze star. Within 20, that will net you a silver one. If you manage to prepare the pizza in under 10 minutes, the gold star will be yours. While you're still learning, don't worry about the time. Even if you go over the 30 minute mark, you can still achieve gold in other categories. I've never heard somebody say no to a good pizza. There you go, pizza is popular. Ah, alright. So it's broken actually. Need to then use credit card also, most probably. This one's day was pretty good, good at work and then relaxed for for some time and now of course started the stream stream and have been having pretty good time here also so not not uh, too bad bad day at all right and then then it is time to let's go serving window i'll teach you about accepting new orders very good Orders can be accepted for only half an hour since the new day starts, but the guests won't leave until they receive their pizzas, even if that means waiting. This pizzeria is really busy, so don't worry about running out of orders. It has never happened. <laughs> That's a tall promise. However, we have one golden rule. We do not accept more than five orders at a time. 
you can control when the order time start, but the workday progresses from time to day begins. Let's get a, a move on and ring the bell to accept an order. Alright, ring the bell. And here it is, your first order from a customer. Launch the Bell a Pizza app and check out the details. Smartphone. Pugliese. Alright. Click on the highlighted button. The order specifies kinds of tough sauce, cheese and ingredients, as well as how much of those clients want. Sometimes some of the categories will be blank. That means, for example, a customer does not want cheese on their pizza. The arrow buttons next to Duff and Sauce type will switch your view to their recipes. Fortunately, we prepared everything we need yesterday, so we don't need to use the recipes. You can pin the order down using the pin button. After you put down your smartphone, you'll still be able to see the order details in the corner of your screen. Small, medium and large. Lumps of stuff can be split and combined, I'll show you how. Aim at the large stuff lump, but do not pick it up. Press Q. Alright, third into medium. Press Q again. Turn into small. Let's roll the duff. Time to add some sauce, indeed. And let's spread the sauce so that there should be sauce on the whole, whole pizza. Actually, the look of spreading the sauce has been done pretty carefully in this game. There we go. Alright, we need to of course get even decorate pizza with mozzarella cut. Yes. Yes.
black olive and it's directly behind the smartphone. Alright, sufficient amount of olives. Bake the pizza. Burnt pizza won't steal any hearts either. Plate. Then we take the pizza peel. But also we need to warm up the oven first, so let's check the oven temperature. Alright, more wood is clearly needed. Stoke the oven at least three blocks when needed last time, so let's stoke it enough. Alright, almost green. Let's add a couple of logs so that we have enough temperature. There we go. Our oven starts to look fine. So now it is time to take up the pizza. And put it into the oven. Insert pizza. And now we wait for our pizza to bake. Alright, good night, Solia. No, the oven has no door for once. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Already fell off. <laughs> yes, let's continue and wait for our pizza to bake. This is more polished than really the base game. It is in many ways more kind of clean, clean uh, design wise that it uh, gets over one uh, some of the worst hurdles like for example handling the knife in some cases. There we go. Now our pizza actually looks, it's not quite even but it looks pretty nice so let's take it to the Serving a counter. level up. Now we can have mushroom, chicken breast, prosciutto, uh, rosemary, Italian sausage or artichoke. What would you like as new ingredients on the pizza? We get to select three new ingredients so any preferences in the chat what we should have as new ingredients. Rosemary, all right. That's one. What else? We have 
mushroom, chicken breast, prosciutto, Italian sausage and young artichoke left. Anjovis, not yet Kisu at least. Do you think you can later unlock also anjovis? Mushroom, indeed. And then let's take the Italian sausage as the third one. New perk, quest reroll, order reroll. Let's take the quest reroll. Activated anytime in the Perk Hub app. This really is modern, like everything is on the smartphone. Alright, Papa Pepe made us a nice certificate. <laughs> Excellent, Papa. Quest Villa. We got the stars on everything but C's. Not spread well enough. Fair enough. You have three active quests. Yes, we do. Speed specialization. Quantity specialization. Quality specialization. Surprise. You can try to complete all three Master Tired Challenges to become Pizza Olo Supreme. I never managed to do it myself, but maybe you who is destined for it. Alright, tutorial ends here. Good. So now we are ready to professionally make pizza, so let's save game here. So we are ready to ready to start professionally making pizza, so we have about half an hour at least remaining on the stream, so let's start making some pizzas. Now we have an order in the marinara. Garlic and basil leaf, all right. Small. So let's roll it up. Add some marinara sauce. Spread it out well. Add some cut garlic. Do we have any? Actually. Apparently not. Let's cut it then. Mm. 
Apparently we dropped the basket. There we go for some garlic. Good. Then we insert a container. We actually need to buy one, so... We put some extra garlic in it and then basil leaf. Do we also actually have to cut the basil leaf in some manner? Probably we have to take it in the herb, herb view to be able to add it, yes. 12 grams needed. There we go. And there's no cheese apparently. So let's bake our pizza. How is our oven doing? Alright, we need to again stoke it up, not like very efficient. ready. Insert pizza and let's bake our pizza. Pizza Pro! Thank you, Kamu! <laughs> Alright, let's see how our Pro Throw us with the marinara. So let's wait for our pizza to bake. At least this is kind of more polished experience. This has less really wonky things than the base game. This doesn't quite try as much with the real life physics, so actually this is more polished overall than the base game with the especially wonky spatula, so this is at the same time maybe slightly less amusing, but also more rewarding in the sense that there's less less like total total confusion. Then we need a small plate to plate it on. All right. 
right and immediately when said that this is not quite as bonky things start to happen This recipe will start appearing in order starting tomorrow. Alfredo sauce, butter, garlic, milk, universal flour, salt, black pepper, parmesan cheese. So we leveled up even. So let's let's then continue next. And now we again can choose more ingredients. Eggplant, buffalo mozzarella, prosciutto, and let's then take the bacon. And let's try to do something about the mess with the duff. There we go. And now we are good to take another order. Marinara got really good stars. Nice. Pugliese. And pizza size was medium. Let's roll it out. Add marinara sauce. Add 100 grams mozzarella. There we go. White onion, 32 grams. Black olive. All right. We have all the ingredients in it, so let's stoke our oven once again. Our oven has really bad heat retention capabilities, it appears. Alright, our oven is Good to go. Really.
It seemed less wonky, but it certainly isn't. Moving the pizza thing near the dove tray is really way for hazard. And our pizza is done. All right, looking good. Really. Uh, spread unevenly, all right. Otherwise, really good pizza again. And let's try to clean up this mess again. Where would we put this, like... Really... Even handling the pizza shovel clear the near the dove tray makes a total mess. Alright. Hello Mantu Wolf. Great to see you. Welcome to the stream once again. So you of course also get a wave. We have been making some pizza in cooking simulator. So let's continue still for a while. Hello there. Great to see you. Alright, let's take another order. Salami. Medium. Roll the duff. Then we add the pizza sauce. How did we make a small pizza base? New try, please. There we go, that looks better. Time to add marinara sauce. And spread it out well. Ninety six grams of grated mozzarella. There we go. Salami, cut, and basil leaf. Seems 
64 grams of salami. And 24 grams basil leaf. Stoke our oven. All right, closing for today. So we are finishing the last pizza for today. All right, our oven is operative, and let's take the medium plate out. And put the pizza into the oven. And now our pizza is cooking. Alright. Good night. Good night, Kamu. Yeah, a skunk suit, indeed, Manchu. So, good night, Kamu, and see you again in the stream soon. Sleep well. So, indeed, this is a skunk suit, and as Kamu mentioned, there are several critters, and each has their own favorite games that they usually play, so there is in that sense also some dimension to the overall concept. Yeah, you have this far seen Manchu, only the Fox, Fox Spectra who plays a bit different games. So, our pizza cooked a little excessively, because apparently the game didn't pause, so let's serve it anyway. And we still got three stars, so pizza was burned, cheese was burned, but everything else was fine. Alright. So actually not too bad even. It burned a bit. Oh well. Then we have the preparation time for the next day. We still have we should cut a bit more garlic. We still have a quite good amount of pizza sauce, onion, salami, mozzarella. We should create more mozzarella and cut more garlic. So let's get some more garlic. Do you think there was also a package of garlic on the shelf? Yes.
All right, now our food processor contains plenty of garlic, so let's cut it up. There we go. Sweet corn and garlic look pretty much the same. Then we need to create more mozzarella, so... Let's get more mozzarella from the cellar. Basket got stuck in the freezer. <laughs> right, that is kind of an issue. Yeah, it's a fox indeed. Hmm, that's kind of an issue. As can be expected, this isn't totally free of bugs. Fortunately, it for some reason decided to release itself after pushing at enough controls. Let's create these. Created mozzarella. So we are pretty well done with the preparation. But now the game seems to have decided that we can't select object. Hmm. And can't enter the menu. We can open the phone though.
Alright. It seems the game decided that it's not interacting with the environment at all. And we are coming up to the one and a half hours in any case, so for for the work week going to also tonight uh, raid raid at the one and a half hours and it seems we are not really able to currently unwedge the game immediately so we thought about like making one more pizza first but as we currently can't unwedge the game to actually interact with the environment going to check if there is any way for that after the stream and otherwise play it up to this point again if we can't can't actually get a save save game save game the result so the game is clearly still a little still a little bit buggy so at this point thank you thank you all for joining joining our slightly buggy at times pizza making in the cooking simulator certainly will be returning for more bits and more ingredients in the future also for this game tomorrow to have a free night on the schedule we'll see if we'll be motivated motivated to stream or if we'll be having a break tomorrow night but indeed thank you all for joining and hopefully you enjoyed our pizza cooking Tonight and see you all later this week. So good night to all and let's check who we can raid. Alright, Skunk Dragon, Skunk Dragon seems to be playing something, let's see what Obsidian is playing and see if we will raid him this time. Alright, this is some kind of apparently battle related game as there's manufacturing Weapons. Develop new weaponry. All right. Is this like Ace Combat or something? Let's see. And join, join Obsidian this time. So. Let's rate them. And he's a skunk dragon. So it's always a good raid target for skunk. So let's go there and good night all. See you next time.